Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. I thought I'd come back and do a video and share my happy mail with you today because I got some really surprised, lovely happy mail. I also have an acquisition to show you, which I'm not so happy about, but the happy mail certainly brightened up my day. So I wasn't expecting this. I got a message there was mail at the mailbox. It's a little late getting through because of all the rain and flooding. Actually, a thing just went to the supermarket and said there is no bread. The shelves are just bare. So yes, you just have to make do until the trucks get through. Anyway, guys, my happy mail is that I came in in the express post pack from WA. It's from Mel. She used to have a channel called Mel Loves Crochet or something like that. But her new channel name is The Beanie Queen. So I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. So you can check her out and give her some love and watch her videos. Subscribe if you enjoy her content. So my happy Mel. Well, there was a card. I had to open it. Because I'm thinking. And it is Happy Birthday. A cupcake card isn't that lovely and such a surprise it's because I haven't mentioned my birthday have a wonderful yarny birthday lots of love Mel because the 6th of May Friday is my birthday last week it's things this week it's my birthday and she has sent me some lovely happy mail there's a little note inside I hope you like the yarn I've dyed for you I'm not very good at it I disagree. Hanking the yarn. The yarn is 60% merino wool, 10% alpaca and 26% nylon and 41% metallic. It's an 8 ply yarn. So soft. I dyed the yarn especially for you. Isn't that lovely? Someone went to the trouble of dyeing yarn just for me. Thank you for being you. Have a wonderful birthday. And I remembered up, you liked chiquitos. Yes, well... That's why I opened it, because I could feel it. In there is Chiquito Chocolate Bar, my favourite. I'm going to save that for my birthday on Friday and have it as a special treat on my birthday. If you haven't tried a Chiquito, you should. They're yummy. The yarn she sent me is in this lovely bag. She dyed this just for me. In my favourite colours. Look at that. It's got, I don't know if you can see the sparkles. It is beautiful and soft. This is that one. And there is two with some sparkly greens to complement. Isn't that beautiful? And so thoughtful. Mel, thank you so much. I can't believe you did this for me. And um, yeah, I'm really touched. Thank you, you've really made my day because I've been feeling a little flat since we lost our friend Sharon that Sharon likes crochet or Sharon's crochet I'm a bit upset about. Um, she passed away last week and I guess with my birthday coming up it makes me realise how old I am getting and, you know, what may happen in the future. So yeah, Sharon was a lovely lady so condolences to her husband Mark and the family. Um, I really got a shock the morning I got the text message to say she had passed away the night before. Anyway, this happy mail, so soft, certainly made me feel young and sprightly again with these beautiful bright colours. Thank you. So my acquisitions, my acquisition, I'm going to show you. Who do you think it's from? It came, it was sort of like gathered up and taped around and taped around. I had to break into it. Even the post office said, gee, it's pretty rough and ready. Can you guess who it's from? It's probably not who you think. It's not Wool Warehouse. It is from Hobie in Denmark. Didn't use Hobie packaging. So like I said, it was gathered up at the top and just taped around. And um, it took a while to break into it, and I'm a little disappointed. I bought a lot of this um, cotton yarn I wanted for a project. Um, 
rainbow lace hobie it was on yarn substitute as a good substitute for a project i wanted to do but now it's here um don't know who did the yarn sub it's way too fine and i bought quite a bit of it because i was going to do several projects with it in different colors but that's my fault i did that and that's not um their fault what I'm disappointed in is, you know, I bought from Hobie before and I've always been happy. But this just looks like it was thrown together and sent. And it did arrive really quickly. Believe me, it arrived in less than two weeks. Now, Hobie used to do free delivery if you spent 75 US or more. Now that's gone up to $100 US and they'll do free international delivery to us, which is always the attraction and I wait till I want quite a bit of stuff so I've actually spent 150 Australian dollars and lo and behold now if I was to give that as a gift to someone I wouldn't because it's all falling apart there are a few like that they're all coming undone and to me that looks like oh that's been in her stash for a while she's just giving me her junk so I found that disappointing. They're all a bit the same, a bit loose, a bit thrown together. And it was mainly these that I do tend to give the Malaga or Malaga away as a gift. So they won't be going anywhere. I think that mauve is about the best one in it. I also bought, and I bought this before. This is not too bad. This is um, because I'm getting into more wools. And I have had Lima wool before, and I quite like it for tea cozies. I bought some more Lima wool. They're the two colours I bought. It's 100% uh, soft wool from South America. It recommends a 5mm crochet hook. I wouldn't. I'd use a 4mm. It's quite fine. It doesn't really say the weight. And the colours are just numbers. But that's the colours I bought because I quite like that. And, and believe it or not, <laughs> the rest of it is full of lace, that rainbow lace. Look, if it doesn't work out, I'll always use it on tea towel toppers for the markets, which I am currently working on because... I am doing, even though my birthday Friday, Mother's Day Sunday, I'm doing a charity market Sunday on Mother's Day. No real big plans because we do a lot for our birthdays. The other disappointing thing about Hobie is I've probably been buying from them for about two, maybe three years. And you get a gift when you purchase a certain amount. And it's been the same gift for the last three years. It's a sewing unpicker. I really think they need to look at what they're doing, um, vary up the gifts, especially if there's a record like a history, because I am a member of what they're sending you, and um, I know everybody's busy, but it, it would be nice if they took a bit more care when packaging things up. Now, I think they thought, oh, it's going to Australia, she'll claim that on the post. No, I won't, because it was sealed. It hadn't been broken into. Customs didn't check it. It was just thrown together and sent to me. So I'm a little disappointed in Hobie. And um, maybe it'll be a while before I buy from them again. Um, mainly because I really, really dislike this. I mean, not one ball maybe, but they're all sort of just... Just a pet peeve of mine. So guys, that is my acquisitions. Look, the Happy Mail makes far away makes up for the Hobie, especially when someone sends me yarn in my favourite colour and a Chiquito. I was checking out Stephen West's patterns today and his channel, and um, yeah, something about he's got planned for about three months, so I might be using all these little different yarns up in that. Um, because he's designing a cardigan pattern. I'm not really a uh, pullover or sweater or jumper person, 
but I do like cardigans and I think I will like this. But there are some new challenges out there that people have put forward to inspire me. Um, I had a bit of a, it was Sunday night, I had on Monday, long weekend, I had a bit of a cast on party last night. I cast it on a couple of different projects, which I'll come back and show you another day. So I've got three whips on the go. Yes, two are tea cozies, one isn't. Um, and two are in acrylic and one is full. But there you go, bit of a teaser on my next video. Thank you once again, Mel. So thoughtful of you guys. Make sure you check out the Beanie Queen channel. And yes, Hobie mm, may go on hold for a while and I'll stick with Wool Warehouse. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe, take care and have a great day. Bye for now.